Second ionization energy is the removal of one mole of electron from one mole of a positively charged ion, okay, forming a two plus charge. So it's B. All right, do not confuse it with C. C is actually first ionization energy plus the second ionization energy in total. Oxidation number of nitrogen. Oxidation number, I'll just do the first one as example. Recall that oxygen in a compound, each one is oxidation state of minus 2. So we have 3 oxygen, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. We have total of minus 6. And the total, the sum of the oxidation numbers of nitrogen and oxygen here is minus 1. Based on the charge here. And that makes your nitrogen to be plus 5. So if we follow that rule, we can figure out that the respective oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 5, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1 element here, it will be 0. And then they want in which step is the change in oxidation state different from the changes in the other steps. Right, they don't want the oxidation states or oxidation number, they want the change. So here the change is two units, one unit, one unit, one unit. So A has a different change. It has a change of two units compared to the rest with one unit. So A is the answer. Extraction of aluminum oxide or aluminum. Why is cryolite added? Well, this is more of a recall question. Cryolite is added to lower the melting point so that the electrolysis can be carried out at lower temperature and saves energy. Boltzmann distribution showing the spread of energy and the proportion. So the question is which one actually shows the higher temperature, right? In terms of temperature, you have to know that the one that has a higher peak and the peak is more to the left side represents the, the curve with the lower temperature. The one with the lower peak and the peak is more to the right side represents the higher temperature. In terms of effect of catalyst, if we have a catalyst, it will actually lower the activation energy, right? So Y will be the one that is without the catalyst. And if there's a catalyst, the activation energy actually will be at a lower number. X will be the one that has a catalyst. Right, so that more portion of uh, the particle will actually exceed the required activation energy when there is a catalyst. So higher temperature is Q. Catalyzed reaction is X. Number five, which factor helps to explain why the first ionization energy decreases down group one? Now, using lithium as and sodium as examples, right? Lithium has only two shells, and sodium has three shells. So, it will be easier to remove the electron from lithium than sodium because what is holding this electron back on the outside are the protons in the center, in the nucleus. So the further away there is from the nucleus, right, there will be more shielding effect. That means the inner electrons, the inner shells actually so called prevents the or minimizes the attraction that the center has for the outside. So this is what we call the shielding effect, right? The two shells inside will shield the 
effects of the protons that are trying to attract this electron. So it's easier to remove this electron because it's less attracted to the center. Number six, decomposition of hydrogen peroxide collecting oxygen gas. So the first experiment, we have a certain amount of oxygen gas collected and then they're asking us how can we adjust the second experiment such that it's slower. Okay, slower because you can see that the gradient is lower but in the end we get more oxygen gas. So if you look at the options, adding 0 0.1 moles of hydrogen peroxide. Now this is the answer. Why so? We talk about the speed first. When we mix 0 0.1 mole of hydrogen peroxide to the 1 mole per, per dm cube, actually we actually are diluting the 1 mole per dm cube. The overall concentration now will be lower. Right? So lower concentration, it will give us a slower speed at the start. But then, because we're adding more moles of H2O2 right, to the original number of moles, eventually we will get more oxygen gas anyway. So slower because of lower concentration due to dilution, more oxygen gas due to increase in the total number of moles of H2O2 used. Right? If you realize B, C, and D none of them actually increases the number of moles of H2O2. Right? Adding water will just make it more diluted. It will slow down but give us the same number of moles. Lowering the temperature, same thing. Slow down but same number of moles. Less catalyst, again same thing. It will slow down but and then also we get less or, but we still get the same amount of oxygen gas. The Haber process, what is the reason for using a lower temp a lower pressure compared to before? Right? Last time we used 1000 atmosphere, now we only use 100. A simple reason is because if you have higher temperature or higher pressure actually, if you have higher pressure, you will need more specialized equipment to withstand the high pressure. So it will be more expensive to maintain the high pressure. Right. If we check the other two options, equilibrium yield of ammonia is increased at lower pressure. We can see that's not true. At lower pressure, based on the equilibrium, if you lower the pressure, actually the system will react by creating more moles of gas, which is shifting the equilibrium left side. So we do not get increase in ammonia, we actually get less U. Okay. Rate of reaction is increased at lower pressure, not true. Lower pressure, your gas will be more spaced apart, they will be less concentrated, and then due to that, they will have a lower rate of reaction.